I guess I want to start with, did you see the reaction coming when the decision was made to hire Representative Johnson to be the president, the, the outcry coming from so many different places? So keep this in mind. The focus was the decision, right? So through this process, it was all about finding the right president for Youngstown State University. So did that factor in at some point after the decision? Absolutely. You know, we thought that there would be people that would be naysayers. But our perspective of this hire was not the politician. As, as a matter of fact, I stopped calling him congressman even during the interviews because that's not what we were hiring him for, right? So it was more about what he was bringing to the table um, as potentially being the next president of Youngstown State. So did I foresee it happening? Absolutely. Right, so th this doesn't shock me, um, but I will tell you a theme of my life, and, and this is how I was raised. Lambert and Mayor, his son, right? You have two choices in life. You do what's popular, you do what's right. And this was the right decision. Um, how did his name ever come up? I mean, you hire this, 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 this research, this firm, this search firm. Right. I would, and I don't know this for a fact, but they, I'm, assu I'm assuming they would have brought to you names of people in higher education that were looking to be president. How did a congressman end up in that mix? So in this search firm, when we met with them, we said, hey, look, we want, we, we just finished with Jim Trussell, right? Non-traditional president, um, no really higher ed experience. I get he had two years at Akron, um, didn't have a doctorate, and he was a coach. Um, and we saw the impact. So our comment to them was, you know, we're not looking for another coach. You know, we're not looking for, we don't want a title, but we want someone that brings something different. So it's non-traditional, traditional, whatever comes to the table that we think can have the impact on Youngstown State that we know we need right now, right? So when the search firm, the search firm brought all the names, okay? And Bill Johnson was one of them. So the search firm did come up with Bill Johnson? The search firm brought the names, correct. And they brought two other names. They, they started with, I think, I remember saying that day, they started at 15, then it went to 9, yeah, right. then they it were, went to 3, correct. and then then, then, and then to 1, correct? correct? Is that how it went? Correct. So was he among the first 15? Yes. Okay. So yeah. you got whittled right down to him. Right. How many did you interview before you picked Bill Johnson? So there was an interview of, I believe, 9, Okay. and then we got down to the final 3. And so once we got to the 3, then we started that process. I interviewed Bruce Zoldan today, and I'm sure you, you, you're familiar with what Bruce has, has said at this yes. point about it. He's not happy about it. Sure. He's thinking about taking his $5 million donation, wants to make, figure out a different way to do it. He wants the board to reconsider its, its selection. Would the board do that? Well, first of all, Bruce is an amazing supporter of Youngstown State and of Youngstown, period. Um, and I appreciate it as being a, a former student of Youngstown um, and sitting on the board of Youngstown State. But I would just say this, I understand that there are people that have opinions, but keep in mind this one thing. We have on our board, and, and I don't want to make this political because I know people are making it political, but I think it's important to understand this. We have on our board Democrats and Republicans who voted for Bill Johnson. We have on our board people who have in their families associations with the LGBTQ community, LGBTQ community who voted for Bill Johnson. And they voted for him not because of his political views, but because he sat down and we talked about, by the way, we would be silly not to have talked about, hey, listen, you've made these, these statements or you have these views, you know, how do you feel about that and how are you gonna serve the, you know, because you're, you're representing 60% in your district, here you're representing 100, right? And we sat down and talked about that. So for the folks to be committed to where they are now, it's because he's the right person. And Stan, listen, I'll, I'll be blunt with you. In, in, in the last two weeks, let, let me tell you what happened. And this is not a, a poor me on, on me or the board or anyone else, but we have had board members who have had threats to the, at their workplace. Someone gonna come shoot up the place and, and assault women. Um, I've been called everything from an Uncle Tom to a sellout and told that someone's gonna spit in my face when they see me. Now I say all that to say this, why would we ever stand for a man who could not deliver what we want from Youngstown State if that was the case? We're here, right? 
we're, we're, we're standing for Bill Johnson, not for Bill Johnson, but because of what he can do for Youngstown State. That's what it's all about. And believe me, it doesn't matter what his views are outside. We all have views. We all go to work with views and political views. We all do that. And, and, and sometimes we're, we're in government settings and, and we have our personal beliefs, but they don't impact our decisions within the unit, within the unit that we work. And that's what's important to understand. So to answer your question, no. No. You're not going to reconsider. And, 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 th and that is no disrespect to, to him or anyone else because, again, <laughs> great people. Great people who put their money and their time where their mouth is. And, and by the way, when you see the resistance from, from folks like that, and even the supporters and, and the demonstrators, it, it actually shows, again, the love that everyone has for Youngstown State. Right? right? And, and the only thing I ask in that is that if, if we agree, we all have that love. And you can't doubt my love for Youngstown State. You can't doubt the board's love for Youngstown State. That if we all have that love, then trust this. We're not going to put anyone in that seat who doesn't deserve it, who's not going to be a workhorse for the 100% of Youngstown State University students. Because in the end, it is all about the students. So that's why we believe what we believe. It's the right decision. And it's not the popular decision. I understand that. Knew that going into it. But it's the right decision. A lot of the argument has been on the process, too. Mm. I mean, they, they, they may be hiding behind their politics. But, they, sure. but, they, but a lot of it is they, they didn't think the process was transparent enough. Sure, sure. You disagree or you agree? So, transparent enough, um, you know, as, as I would tell my wife, um, it's, I, I know what you said, but I know what I want, right? And so, when you say transparent enough, maybe not for them, right? But understand the process itself. The process is, and, 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 and I heard a, uh, uh, a former trustee who made a comment, and, and it was very interesting. She said, out of the nine years that she was on the board, they hired three presidents, and every one of those were open, right? Every one of those were open process. Okay, but, but think about what was just said in that, right? Out of nine years, you hired three different presidents. Okay, that doesn't say a lot about the process itself. So what we did, make this very clear, we hired, well, we did a couple things. First, we started with, we sent out a, a broadcast to our community saying, what do you want to see in your next president? Okay, we had 600 people respond. Okay, I'd love to have had 11,000. Okay, but we had 600. We then hired that search firm. Well, we interviewed and then we hired a search firm. The search firm, which by the way is, in, you've seen it, one of the top five in the country, right? They all over the world, all over the country. I'm sorry, not world. Um, they they do these hirings. They said to us, if you want the best candidate. It has to be a confidential search. Why? Well, it's as simple as this. These people are working somewhere else, right? And can you imagine being, having someone being a captain of the ship? And while they're supposed to be running that ship, they're looking at another boat, right? So they were extremely concerned about that. So we said, understand. We want the best candidate. Youngstown State deserves that. And so that was the process, right? And, and to give you an idea about how, how, how important that, that confidential side was, even after we hired Bill Johnson, the candidates that didn't get selected said to us, hey, we want to make sure you guys are going to honor the confidentiality because we can't get it out. We don't want that information to get out. Um, so that, that was the process. Now, in part of that process, we... we interviewed those, again, those 600 people. We hired the search firm. Um, we put a constituency group together, right? And they considered, uh, considered they, they, could, they, they were all, that, that group was um, some faculty, deans, right? Administration, vice presidents, vice presidents exactly. Uh, we had students, that representation. So keep in mind, we had over 20 people in that group. That's a pretty big group, right? And we kept coming up with the same president in that process. So 
you know, I, I just go back to again, you have to wonder. I would ask people as they're making this judgment and understand that they don't like the, de the decision based on their perspective and what they see. I would ask them to maybe ask this one question. What made those folks like Bill Johnson? Right? What made them want to pick Bill Johnson? And with everything going on in our world now, the things I've shared with you that are going on in, in my world and some of these other board members in the Youngstown State, why in the world would they stay with Bill Johnson? And the answer is because he is the right person for the right for the job right now. I'm assuming you're saying that because you looked at all 15 people. Correct. You, you had you had eyes on all 15 people. And, Correct. And the, and the vote was eight to one. Correct. Okay. Right. Yes. So. It, I'm, I'm, I'm going again, I wasn't part of the discussion, but I'm assuming there was a lot of back and forth on where this should go before the final vote was taken. Correct. Okay. Yes. No, there was, there was a lot of discussion about the qualities of each and every person. And keep in mind, too, so when we, um, when we finished with the, the final three interviews, right, I had two questions, right? And the first question was, hey, do we think that any one of these people could be the president of Youngstown State? And we all agreed. All three were and qualified, could have done it. All three were qualified. And, we, and then the next question, because this question was even more important, because it then would determine whether we would go back to the search uh, firm and say, we need more candidates, right? Do we believe we have the next president of Youngstown State in this three? And we all say, yeah. Now, that was before we knew who liked who, right? It was, that was the question, and we all said yes. And that's what brought us to, okay, that's great. Then let's go to work. And at that point, you got to Bill Johnson. Correct. Okay. Right. Where do you go from here? How do, you, how do you heal the wounds that have created in the community? Yeah. You know, it, time? It, um, you know, time, time, yes. Um, I think you have to, we have to get out and talk to people. And, and, and we hear them. You know, we, we, we understand folks' concerns. We get it. Right. Um, it's, it just really comes down to sharing the information we have them. It's experiencing Bill Johnson um, and hearing them. And, and by the way, I, I just I do want to say this, you know, I, I know that what is what is heard is all the negative, you know, but I could literally and, and I thought about doing this, but I could print out all the positive comments from the students. I could print out the positive comments from the alumni, from 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 faculty. Right. But. But people are concerned about raising their voice, right? And, and I understand that, and I get that. And listen, we're going to get hit right now. We're all big boys and big girls. You know, we can handle that, okay? But the bottom line is, if you're asking, Youngstown State community, if you are asking why this president, I can tell you why. Bill will show you why. We'll have to show you why it was the right decision. But again... If you believe that we love this university, well, then you would almost have to ask yourself, why would we so blatantly choose the wrong person? And my response to that would be, we so blatantly chose the right person. He is clearly for what we need and what we're looking for, the right person. Did you talk to Eddie Moransky today at all? Did you talk to him at all in the last couple of days? Have not. Okay. No, you, you have heard that he's, he's no longer the chair of the YSU Foundation? I did. Okay. It's a pretty important organization to mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and listen, I'm, I'm, I'm sad about that. Uh, if you don't think that that bothers me, then you're wrong. If you don't think that, you know, I have had my sleepless nights not because of the decision, but to see the division and to see the students who will be impacted by losing those opportunities and that level of support, it, it bothers me. It truly bothers me. On the flip side, this is the right decision. And it's not a decision that we have to hold on to because it's a them against us. It's not that at all. That's, 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 that's exactly the point. Listen, I came here in 1984, right? First generation. First generation. Had no idea whether I was even going to survive here at Youngstown State. And with the grace of God, awesome parents in Youngstown State, I am at a place now that I never thought I would be. Short of playing football, right? I owe YSU. I owe YSU. I owe it. 
And by owing it, when I sit in that chair, it's not for anyone's glory. It's not to say, hey, look at me. It's to do the work of Youngstown State University, to make sure that the next Mike Peterson, 20, 30, 40 years from now, has the same opportunities that this Mike Peterson had. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.